In the previous video, we went over how to open a new Google Slides presentation, create a title slide, and add a slide. In this video, I'm going to give you some slideshow tips. First tip is to use bullet points. Remember that if you hold the mouse over these buttons, they tell you what they do. And over here on the right is a button for a bulleted list. Bullet points are a good way to keep the text short and simple. Remember, your slideshow is a visual aid for your oral presentation. So people should be listening to you and focused on you, not on reading a lot of text from the slideshow. Also, keep the design simple. Don't use too many different colors, too many pictures, or too many different fonts. A font is the writing style. And it is important to choose a clear font. Select a font from this menu. This is a good one. This one would not be good because some people might have difficulty reading it. These are clear fonts. So choose a font that's easy for people to read and use an appropriate font size. Usually this is a, a minimum of 22 for headers, 18 for the body. Remember the header is the title of a slide and the body is the details. You can select a font size by using the plus or minus signs here, entering a number in the box, or selecting from the menu. And finally, it is a good idea to use images to support what you're saying, and the text on your slide. Two good places to get images are pixabay.com and Google Images. We need to make sure that the images we use are free for us to use, that they are not owned or protected by anyone else. It has free images. Just enter a search word, for example, meeting. Find a picture that you like. Click it to download. And after it downloads, go back to your presentation, go to Insert, Image, and Upload from your computer. In my Downloads section of my computer, here I see the image that I selected from Pixabay. Click it and open it. This will put it in the presentation, but of course I need to use these squares to make it a little smaller. Hold the mouse over it to move it around. And select my text box to make it smaller. You can also use Google Images, which is images.google.com. Again, you need to find images that are free to use. To do that, go to Settings, Advanced Search, enter your search word, and then go all the way to the bottom where it says Usage Rights. Change this to say Free to Use or Share, and then Advanced Search to get your images. Here you will click on the right side of your mouse to download the image into your computer, and then do the same thing. Select Insert, Image, Upload from Computer. The last thing is the theme. I mentioned at the beginning of the previous video that we can select a theme to change the appearance or the look of the slideshow. 
To find a theme, you can click Slide, go to Change Theme, and you can choose one of these themes. This will change everything to match. Find one you like, and then you can make the text bigger if necessary, select everything. You could try different themes. And then finally, up here right now it says Untitled Presentation. I want to rename this so I can find it in my computer, in my Google Drive. And notice that when I clicked, it immediately identified the title from my title slide. So I can use that as the title of my presentation. And then it's easy for me to find it in my Google Drive. In Google Drive, you don't need to do anything else. Everything saves automatically. So the next time you go into your drive, your slideshow will be there. So those are some slideshow tips for how to create your visual aid for your oral presentation.